The Asian Counseling and Referral Service is going through a big change. If you can imagine a, a kind of a double wide trailer, it, this is essentially the size of our food bank, this space that we're standing in now. This is the trailer GD Castro with the ACRS is referencing with hundreds of people lined out its doors near King and 10th in Seattle's Chinatown International District. But that continues to be one of the main things that separates ACRS from other food banks is you can always rely on some of those Asian staples like rice and tofu and noodles and fresh produce like the ones you see here. In February 2022, ACRS moved into this new space. The iconic 5,500 square foot Suchong building off Weller in the CID, providing ACRS with 10 times the space to better serve their more than 300 clients they get on average every Wednesday and Friday. Appropriate shelves and coolers uh, for, for us to um, offer fresh produce. Uh, chilled or um, refrigerated goods. This move also comes at a perfect time after the pandemic forced the nonprofit to shift to delivery with a 200% increase in demand. Who live on limited fixed incomes. And so when prices go up, and we know this because we're buying some of the supplies that we're putting out in the community, it's hard for them to make make ends meet. Moving forward, the food bank's eye is on their annual fundraiser, Walk for Rice, on June 18th at Jefferson Park on Beacon Hill. Come and see us. We're open and help support the work of the food bank and our nutrition programs at Asian Counseling Referral Service by supporting Walk for Rice this year. In Seattle, Brady Wakayama, King 5 News.